Hello, this is Ash, the founder of Schemantra, and today we are going to talk about and build a product schema markup. When you add a structured data to your product pages, Google search results, including Google Images and Google Lens, can show product information in richer ways. Users can experience and see price, availability, review rating, shipping information, and more right in search results. Here is how shopping experience may appear. However, in Google search results, eligible pages are not guaranteed to receive these treatments. There are two classes of results type, product snippets and merchant listing snippets. Product snippets are a richer form of presentation for snippets and search results than just text. They are used for products and product reviews and can include additional information such as rating, review information, price, and availability. While merchant listing experience rely more on specific data about a product, such as its price and availability. Only pages from which a shopper can purchase a product are eligible for merchant listing experience, not pages with links to other sites that sell the product. If you provide additional product information beyond the required properties, your content may receive additional visual enhancement, helping your content to stand out in search results. For this reason, it's recommended to provide as much rich product information as available. Providing both structured data on web pages and merchant center feed will maximize your eligibility to experience and help Google correctly understand and verify your data. Here's an example of a product page selling a product with product reviews. And here's another example of a product page with shopping details. To indicate free shipping, uh, assign zero to free shipping value in product page. The followings are the technical guidelines for product schema. Next are the required properties for the product markup. And finally, these are the recommended properties for product schema. To create a product schema, in the dashboard, click Create New. In the search page, look for a product. Select the product type, click Submit. This is the product page properties. Here we can fill all the product properties that we have. In the ID section, let's give it any ID we want. Now for the sake of this video, let's fill only the name and description. This is the description. And this is the name. And you can see here, you can fill any kind of properties that you have about your product, such as the images, if you have any images, the keywords of the product, the logo, the model, and anything you want, and the URL of the page. Now, after you fill all your information, click Save Schema. And now we have the product here. We want to add an offer to it so we can add the price. So to add the offer, we click on the product, and then we click on the plus sign. In the Add Sub Schema page, we let's look for the offer. Here is the offer. So we choose the offer schema. Again, in the offer schema, we give it any ID we want. And then we fill the price. And the price currency. And after you fill the information about your offer, Click Save Sub Schema. Now we have a product and an offer attached to it. To add an aggregate rating, we click on the product again, and then we click on the plus sign. And we find the aggregate rating. This is here. Let's click on it. And I'm going to call it rating. And then we give the rating value. and the review count.
and save sub schema. Now we have a product with an offer, a price, and an aggregate rating. If we would like to show who is offering this product, we go to the offer and we click the plus sign. And we look for offered by. Offered by, and here we list the organization or the company that is listing the offer. We found, we put the name of the organization. And we click sub, save sub schema. To get the full code, we go back to the product, which is the root schema that we created. And we click on the view code. This is the code we just generated. We copy the code. And this is the diagram showing how this product, uh, uh, this is the diagram showing how these schemas are connected. That's the product. Uh, we call it an EID. And this product has an offer. And this offer is offered by an organization. And this product also has a rating and which is here. So let's validate the code. We go to the validator. We paste the code here. And this is the code we just created. We have the, the type, which is a product. It has a name, it has an offer. The offer has a price with a price currency and it's offered by this organization. And there is aggregate rating with the rating value and the review count. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. And if you would like to see more of this, please subscribe and see you next time.